Hello, Devil are you? Thank you very much for coming over and joining us for another Sunday lunchtime live. I apologise about that. I don't know why you can hear what we were saying, but... <laughs> good job well, we weren't being rude. Yeah, good job we weren't doing nothing we shouldn't be doing. But anyway, <laughs> or slating somebody we shouldn't have been. So anyway, thank you very much for coming over and joining us. Hope you're all well. Um, another Sunday lunchtime live. As always, some really nice pieces there from the hashtag week. So a massive thank you to everybody who... Uh, took the time to take part in the hashtag week. I uh, really much appreciate that. And um, the next one will be next Sunday. The f- Is it next Sunday? Yeah, the f- no, no, I don't think it's next Sunday. That's the Sunday after, the 5th of June, uh, 2023. So that'll be the next hashtag week. So if you're about, come over and see what it will be. So to this week, um, as you know, we, we've been doing... I get fed up of doing the same thing over and over and over again. So um, I'm going to I'm going to have a go at something I've been wanting to have a go for a while. It's going to be over a couple of weeks, this one. And I want to try and turn a thin ward, well, it's a, 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 a wide edge bowl with a thin wide edge. And I want to try and pierce it. I bought the machine when I was at Newark a few weeks or months ago now. And um, the I want to have a go with it. I've not actually used them machine yet so this week i'm going to try and turn something with a thin wall and next week we'll perhaps do a bit of piercing and a bit of coloring and burning and whatever you want to call it so that's what i'm going to plan on doing something i haven't done for a while just to try and keep it fresh um so while i go over to um the lathe and get ready uh nick will welcome you all in as she's in the background you can hear her rustling away <laughs> good afternoon everybody what a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. So, so beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, got all my washing up to date yesterday, so. 
Um, right, so good afternoon to. Oh, wait a minute. I've lost my. We're presented by Colin. Paul Finley returning at home. We have Gerard the French Turner. Uh, Pete from Twisted Trees, Michael McEwen, uh, Dr. Bob, Brent Beecroft, Malcolm Douglas, Christina Michael Hesseltine, sorry my chat's just jumped down. Um, Chris Dodds, oh no, it's Andy, uh, Mike Evans, we also have Rex B, Wayne the Wood Turner, whoops, I'm obviously sworn there, uh, Anna Laurie, Haim, Matt. Matza, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, Norman Greenwell, Dr. Bob, I think I'm going to say him or not now, Todd at Glencove Woodworks, Graham Brown. Steve Hale, Susie Swiss Wood Turner, uh, Terry Bartlett, Vince Charlton, the Wal Walsby Wood Turner. Um, let's see anybody else who I've missed. William Kenny, Brian at Hart Wood Turner. Benjamin, um, I don't know if I said Malcolm Douglas, I've just, my head's like a sieve today. Um, Amy's today. on, hi Amy. Just today. Sidgery <laughs> um, Purposing. I should change out for a bigger tourist. Brian turning things around. Klondike Craftsman, Clint at Wood Dancers, Copper Owl Wood Turning. Right, I think I've got everybody. If I haven't, just put an oi in the bottom. Oi, 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 oi. Did you see what Benjamin put on? Yeah, Helen Bailey. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that. I will. Apparently, see I've got an echo on. I've done it, apparently. All right. Sorted it, sorted it. Right, so piece of ash. Um, we will quickly measure it because I know you guys like to know how big it is. So it is. Move that camera out a little bit. I think so everybody. Oh, someone's. It's eight inches across by two inches. So I'm just going to. It's got a bit of a curve in it where it started to warp. So I'm going to flatten it out first and then we'll decide and get it round and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. So, as always, we're using the 3 8 bowl gouge. Oh, it's a bit close. Just move that out a little bit. Let me just move that picture out a little bit. So, if I did miss you in the chat, just um, put a comment in the bottom and I'll... Uh... So, I'm going to flatten this off. As always, I'm using the 3 8 bowl gouge. So, we're just going to gently do some pull cuts just to... Smooth this out. Just drop that tool rest a little bit because it's a little bit high. So just a few little pull cuts just to flatten this out and then we can get it round and then we can decide what we're gonna we're gonna do Rex 
said, how many whistles have you made so far this week? Excellent work and thank you. Um, I only made one on Thursday night, just to have a play. That and was so made... funny. You came, didn't you? You came in the house, you went, look what I've made. And you blew it and it won't work. And you blew it again, you went, oh, why is it not working? You walked away and blew it and it worked, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, the box isn't in the way anymore, Andy. I've moved it. Right, so just move that in a little bit. Just got a little bit on the end there. So we are flat now. So I'm just going to make this round. I'm taking off this edge here. So I'm going to put a tenon on the bottom of this. Um, the reason being is I can get rid of the tenon after I've pierced it and shaped it and done whatever I'm going to do with it. So we need a 47 mil tenon. JP Woodworks on. Hi JP, how you doing bud? Lewis a bit good. He thought his new grandson was going to arrive last night, but it was a false alarm. No oh. three days past the due date. All Gerard good said he did a whisk school yesterday. Oh, Fun nice. to do. There we go, there's our mark. So we'll create our tenon. So we're going to create our tenon from there. I'm just going to start nibbling away from there. To remove all this overburden. Going to make my tenon anywhere between three and four million, three and four millimeters long. Turners on as well. Good afternoon. Some new names on there again, isn't there? That's good. We'd like to see new names. Right, so we're just going to get our spindle gouge just so we can put a little bit of a dovetail on our uh, tenon just to give our jaws a little bit of more security. Drop the tool rest a little bit. <coughs> Would do, Tom. Hi, right, Stephen. How are you doing? Your dudeness. <laughs> Old man really said, I'll not be here long as I have to take the wife to work. Oh, what a sacrifice. Right, so now I want the rim about... Uh, I would like the rim, shall I say. Not a one. I would like the rim around about this thickness. So from Round. that, no, width, <laughs> width, about there, maybe a little bit more actually. So maybe that. So we're going to have a little bowl in the middle there. So I'm just going to put a pencil line around it, just so I know roughly where to go to. And I think with the with the rim, we're going to rough shape it on the back. We'll get a smooth finish on the back, and then we're going to we're going to size it on the front. So we'll get rid of a lot of this waste material here. To start with, Pete says he's just cleaned the two inches of shavings off his floor. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not as tall as you thought you was, Pete. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're just going to start taking some of this away.
Good afternoon, Terry at Heckington Crafts is on. Heckington Arch, you mean? Oh, yeah, because I read it too quick. Oh, it's not Andy said. Question, Steve, why does the 54mm mortise work best for you on SC4 chuck when records say ideal size is 50mm? Well, 54mm is the full bit size I have. That's why I do 54. Pete said, can you clean your screen on your camera? Because he's just just at his screen that don't look no different. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob said it's been a long time since he made whistles, old steam train whistles. He received an order from for a hundred from the gift shop for an old steam trains out of the blue. That's good. Yeah. John Scarborough's on as well. Hi, John. So we're just getting rid of all this waste material and then we'll start shaping our bowl area. I'm going to leave a little bit of a rim on the top so it looks like the bowl's coming through the rim. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep that flat as I go through. Ward Wilson's on. My ward. Um, Would you say why isn't Terry on holiday today? <laughs> it's not holiday just yet. So we're trying to keep that flat, as flat as we can anyway. So we've just got a little bit more off of there. Oh, that's that's good day, day, manager. Manager. She's got a mattress for a bed today for free. Nice. I mean, got too many bed bugs in it. Hmm. That bounce on it. Olivia's watching as well. She, as well. she said hello to everyone. Hello. Uh, Lucy Van Lee Rowe is on. Hi, and Joe Garafala. It's Garafala. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a great day. So, nice smooth back through there. Now, we, now we've got to where our bowl's going to start. So now we can start removing some of this.
Genesis Craft Creations is on as well. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? We're gently going to curve that around and take that into the... <laughs> Terry's just for Nikki, you sound like you are not on your headset microphone, all hollow. Well, you are on your headset, I'm sure you are. Yeah. Yep, you're on your Jabra headset. It's the operator, Terry. Tell you, just come and get stuff. No, put these wood turners in and just uh, don't do a very good job at all. I don't know what's going on with this microphone system. <laughs> Lucy put Steve Lock Nicky in the bathroom again. Modern technology, eh? <laughs> Lucy doesn't sound like a Dalek now. It's a bit so rude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on because nothing's changed on the setting since last Sunday. Oh, well, well I, I won't talk. talk. <laughs> Michael, Michael said it's, it's echoing. JP said Wayne's Jabba played it last night as well. So is that any better? See if that's any better. I've got no microphones connected other than my I can't headset. hear you at all now. Can you not? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I don't know then. Don't know, don't know. Recording is on yours. With no, I don't know. I don't know. Noise suppression is on. I don't know. I got a clue. Oh well, have to be what it is. Have to be what it is. I ain't gonna mess around with it now. Right. So I'm just gonna shake this off. That's all right. Don't worry. I'll I'll be quiet. I won't say too much. So just shake that a little bit more. No, it's Andy, so just keep going, we'll cope. <laughs> There's no cameras activated, Pete. No, the only mics I've got activated is the microphone on Nick's headset and the microphone on my headset. Every single camera is turned off. Right, so let's get the 10mm bowl gals and just do a little final cut on this. Andy Bundy Rose on. Hi Andy, how you doing? Just a little final whisper cut. <laughs> Benjamin said it's okay, we already have to deal with an all fake accent, so it can't get much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Boyd's on. Bye bye. Right, so just gonna get a, a skew in the back there, see if we can get that a little bit flatter than what it is. So I'm just gonna run that through. 
Try and get that nice tight transition line in there. There. God help us. It's because I sat down. So that'll do. So we're just going to finish off in there. Just get a little tiny transition line out. There. Len from Handcrafted Wood Signs is on as well. Hi, Len. How you doing? Right, so... That's already the sand up on the bottom there, so we'll get that sanded up. Take it from 120 up to uh, 400, I would imagine. Just try and get a little line out there. We'll get a bit of sandpaper. Just got a little transition <coughs> line in there. Just going to rub out. Chris said it's not that boring. You don't hear us yawning. <laughs> it's usually as soon as I sit down and start yawning. If you could see what I was doing, you would know why I'm probably yawning. <sighs> so we're just going to quickly sand this up to 400 grit. And we'll get the bottom finished. No, I'm not peeling carrots, not today. No, we've got to starve today. No roast today. Yay! I can't be bothered. There is a god after all. Shit. <laughs> we did go out for a lovely meal yesterday. I think that's somewhere we'll have to take um, Terry and Ruth. All right. I got drunk, I did. It was quite funny because Steve ordered a vegan apple pie. <laughs> vegan apple pie. <laughs> we had to ask him what was vegan about it. The supervisor didn't know, so he went off and asked the chef. And it was just this, like the stuff they use for the pastry. Because I said, well, he likes his apples quite meaty, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite funny. Vegan apple pie. So he can't ever say now he's never at anything that's... <laughs> <laughs> vegan. Vegan. All right, so we just get a little bit of sandpaper in that tight corner. 
and just clean out that corner. Terry said my mic's fine now. Yeah, see, strange enough. So you heard. <laughs> Next time you come over, mate, we're going to Thorn Delhi. It's lush. Especially if the weather's nice. It's really nice. Really quirky. Yeah, I agree, Gerard. Yeah. <laughs> what? Vegan. Vegan. <laughs> right, so we all sanded up. Actually, some you, nice you said it didn't taste any different, didn't you? Didn't taste, you can taste it. There was that much sugar in it. You can taste anything else anyway. <laughs> I was higher than quite off the sugar. Right, so let's get some sand and sealer on there. I quite like that. It's quite a nice, uh, nice grain in there. So let's get some sand and sealer on it. Amy said it's the gremlins. Yeah, something. So as you get always, this now and again, don't you? Well, that's ridiculous. You mean you use, you do one stream and everything's perfect. You do another one and you just end up with problems. It's crazy. I don't know why. So as always, nice, generous coat. Or not generous, but a good coat of sand and sealer. And we're going to give it a couple of coats to make sure it's sealed really well. Making sure we get tight in that groove there. Get into the groove. Oh my God, don't do it. Just because your mic's working properly now, you ain't got to say <laughs> I should have done that one. It weren't working properly. That sounded better. <laughs> Dr. Bob put, good day for the other guy to take you out for dinner at some posh restaurant, Nicky. No, he tripped me yesterday. I shan't be lucky enough to get a treat again today. We didn't take me out that often. I think it was our wedding anniversary, which I'm not allowed to mention. <laughs> Go on, tell him. Go on, I'll let you tell him. Go on. I forgot. I forgot it was our wedding anniversary. 28 years and he forgot. Can you believe it? That's because it's been that long. It feels like a lifetime. <laughs> I was trying to forget, actually, to numb the pain. <laughs> Right. You're not going to live it down, though. You do know that, don't you? Well, I'm sure I won't, but... Good job I've got broad shoulders. Right, so, let's get this buffed off. <laughs> Amy put, once again, Olivia is asleep. Don't take offence, Steve. She's had a big day roller skating. No, I, I, you know, I know I'm boring. <laughs> Let's just denib that and then we'll give it another quick coat. Make sure it's sealed correctly. Because if it's not sealed correctly when you put your wax on it, you won't get a shine. You'll just end up with loads of dull spots. So sealing it, spend a bit of time sealing it right. So you get that continuous shine over it and then you'll end up with a nice even finish. So... Um, Benjamin said, a roast dinner on a hot summer's day sounds horrible. First world problem, I know. Oh, no, it's Andy said, you can tell if it's vegan, it doesn't stop telling you. <laughs> Michael McEwen said, happy anniversary. Lynn said, happy anniversary. They had their 32nd on Thursday. Oh, and Amy said, happy anniversary. Thank you. So that's the second coat. Just let that buff off and then we'll get some shavings and just burnish it up. So don't push too hard with your shavings, just gentle rub. Chris that should... Bob said that's only half a lifetime in his case. Yeah. Steve, 44 years. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. You must have an amazing wife or you must be a very patient man. What are you saying? I'm not going to last that long. I might not last that long. <laughs> I might not make it. I might not be old. Well, I will be old if that comes up. Right, so, nice and smooth finish. I'm We've been tempted. together for 32, 33 years. We have. So, I'm tempted to put a little bit of embellishing wax in there. Just to give it a bit of colour. What do you reckon? Blue or green? Mm, blue. 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 
Get some gloves. Just put some electric blue. Matthew Lawrence is on. Hi, right, Matthew. Got that new lathe in yet, mate? Gerard said, Stevie, disappoint me. Remembering the anniversary should be a day to look forward to. I totally agree with you, Gerard, but I, 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 you know what I mean? I, I've had such a heck, well, I'm not going to make excuses, but it's been so busy the last month or so, I just didn't realise what the day was. Didn't sort of, you know, it's weird that we was going out for a meal with our friends whose wedding anniversary is the same day and the same amount of years, which is quite spooky. But yeah. He didn't tweak that. No, because we go out for me all, all the time with him. No, we don't. We try not to. Because they're not very good friends. Not with them. I meant try not to go out full stop a lot for meals. <laughs> try and have it as a special occasion now. So why do we go out this thing? <laughs> Terry's 45th in a couple of weeks. Oh, well done, Terry. Roof deserves a medal. Matthew said he's picking it up at three. All right. So making sure we work that right into the green. Just to get that little bit of highlight. Makes it look dirty now. Oh, Gerard, he ain't going to live it down. Right? He's not. I'm going to remind him. My mum yeah, said, hey, how, long is he, how long are you going to remind him? I said, as long as I remember. <laughs> oh, so I'll be finished by Wednesday. Mm. Right, just as long as um, he goes tomorrow, makes an effort and gets me some flowers to make up for, I'll forgive him. It's too late. Day's over now. No. It's an after gesture. Yeah, I don't care. I'd rather an after gesture than nothing. You always buy me flowers. Well, we're trying new things this year. <laughs> Len said his wife reminds him every day for a month leading up to <laughs> what he'd forget. Right, let's just... I don't know if you can see a little bit of sheen on there. Look at that. It's got a nice little sheen on that. I was just buffing that. I'm not going to worry about too much around that tenon because that we will take off. Don't stick up for him, Benjamin. He said he thinks these sort of events should be written on the fridge. They're actually written on the calendar in a very bright colour. So Not our wedding anniversary, Shirley. Yes, not. it is. I keep see, saying I'm... my name is Shirley. I can't read, you see. I'm going to write in your diary next time. So all polished up on the back. I'm not going to put um, any intrinsic or anything over the top of that because you will get it in the in the lower grain. You'll end up with white bits over it. But I'm going to leave it at that. Let's get it flipped. Brent said they go out for me at least twice a week. We're trying not to. Dr. Bob said, remember, Steve, you're as old as you feel and as long as, as young as you act, except, except all, as all wise men know, women never age. They only mature. <laughs> I need, <coughs> need choke on my drink now. <coughs> right. It's getting this flattened off him. Gerald said his is a date engraved in his memory because it's the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, you can't really forget then, can you? Right. Oh, that Sorry. sounded like you just... What? Sneezed? No, the other one. No, I sneezed. So just place it off. I want a wing about two millimetres thick. A wing? Wing. I'm going to get it flat first.
check that, see if we've got a flat. It's a piece of ash, I think, Andy. All right, so we're, 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 we're flat now. So what I need to do is mark out where I want my um, lip to come through. So we're going to go out the other side of whatever that was. So it's about here somewhere. So we'll just mark that. Now that's going to be my lip. So we'll come in about that thickness. So we create our little bit of our inner. And then we'll create our outer. So now it's a game case of getting this wall as thin as we can get it. So let's come on the overhead. So I want it about between two and three millimeters thick. So I'm just going to gradually, because it's going to get really, it's going to get really flimsy as I go in. I'm just going to do little bits at a time. Actually, I'm going to sharpen that gouge up first. So I've got a nice sharp gouge. Yeah, so I'm going to do bits at a time. So I'm going to do a little bit, then I'm going to move in, then I'm going to make sure I've got the right thickness, and then I'm going to do move in a bit further and do it that way in small sections. Because if I try and do it all in one hit, it could end up vibrating and snapping the wing. Or the rim, should I say, not the wing. Uh, uh, Len's got a question. He said, is elm good to turn? I have a 70 tall tree that came down one and a half months ago in a storm. Yeah, elm's good. And Raymond Wise is on. Hi, Raymond. How you doing? Welcome everybody. Right, so I'm going to go in a little bit and then we're going to get our thickness and then we're going to uh, gradually move our way through. So I'm going to do about an inch. Or well, maybe not an inch. Yeah, about an inch, I think. And then we're just going to come back and trim it back. Oh, she's noisy. It is a bit screechy. That's the trouble when you're... Um... So get some calipers. And we'll measure two millimetres. A lot of people are saying it's really nice to turn. Elm. Mm. So we'll set the calibers at three millimeters. Or actually below that already. Yeah. So there, that's what's that? That's two and a half millimeters what we've got there. So if we can, can keep that thickness all the way through, I will be a happy bunny. So that's good there. So we we'll gradually move our oh. way back. Just stop that and check that. So we're good. So I'll just do a little bit more. Don't forget we're going to sand it a little bit anyway, so um, so we're going to we're going to we're going to um, um, sand it anyway, so we're going to be able to get a little bit better. But we're trying to keep it as close to the 
two and a half mil as we can. Check that again. It's fairly equal all the way through. It's got a little bit of a whip in that. It's a little bit thick there, just on that edge here. So we'll just come back and just trim that up a little bit. From about here. Just double check that. It's just binding a little bit on that bit there. So let's just go down to a smaller gouge and just clean up a little bit. That's better. That's better. So we're about two and a half mil thick all the way through there. So now we'll shape this a little bit and get rid of some of this in here. We'll start our... Actually, I suppose we could finish that off in there. Could finish that bowl off in there. So let's take some of the waste out of there. Oh, no, it's Andy. said, does the shape of the bowl take anyone else back to the early sci-fi films? <laughs> A little bit of a wobble on there. Pardon me. Let's just so we'll just start taking some of this out here. My count goals are cold. Oh. What I'm going to do before I get too excited, I'm just going to make sure my tenons, my uh, chuck's tight. So I'm just going to make sure our chuck is tight, which it should be. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. Because we're doing a tenon that might just squash up a little bit. So we're just going to take this out. Oh, oh, oh. oh my dear. So just remember, no, that's not a huge deep bowl, so we don't want to go a mega deep. Because we need to leave a little bit of meat on the bottom to uh, take our tenon off.
So what's everyone having for their tea today? Let's get talking about food. Get people awake. <laughs> All right, so we'll just give us a clean up with... Uh, They've all gone to sleep. I think so. I'm just going to take this middle out, like so. So we're just going to check our depth. We might be able to get a little bit deeper. We might be able to get a little bit thinner on the wall. But we'll just check it. Yeah, we can get a little bit thinner in the bottom. And we can get a little bit more, um, get a little bit thinner on the wall as well. So we'll keep with the 60 degree grind. Just because we can get tighter in the corner. Oh no, Sandy's having chicken and chips. Paul Lockwood's on and he's having a barbecue. Oh, you lucky man. So, Dr. Bob said, Steve, are you going to do a bin po September 19th, 19th September 1955 to August 2017, who is an old friend of mine, the Vietnamese American artist, best known for his pierced and painted works in wood? <laughs> I'll check him out. I didn't know. Is he, is, he, uh, is he on the media, social media? Or is he? Uh, is there any images that I can have a look at? Ward Wilson said he only come on here at 6 a.m. so he's getting his breakfast. Oh no, Sandy said we're non-vegan apple crumble and custard for dessert. <laughs> Terry's having cod. Gerald's having stir-fried beef. Not bought. <laughs> and Lucy's got cold pizza from the night before. <laughs> Pizza's bad enough hot, hot, let alone have it cold. Yeah, you're not a great lover of pizza, are you? No. Ah, that's better. That's much better. Much, yeah, much better. The girls have a pizza delivered. I'm sure we uh, would eat it. Right, so now we need just to... We can lose a little bit of this. And we can just round that off nicely. So we're just gently losing a little bit of that. That's not quite as chunky. And then we'll start shaping this in. Try to get a nice tight transition line in there, like so. So let's get that sanded oh, Terry up. Terry, don't like pizza at all. Pizza. Uh, what am I um, looking for? Brent's got a question. Oh, Lucy said they are having chicken wraps for tea tonight and wedges. Colin's going to have a nice joint of pork for the dinner tonight. Then said him and his wife go to the market this morning after the show. No. Benjamin said, how many biscuits are you legally allowed with a cup of tea? I reckon at least a packet. Terry said the whole packet. Jennifer said a full packet. Especially if they're like, you get any half a dozen in a pack or a dozen in a pack. I know it's only said Ben none, but no limit with a coffee. Who said Ben an infant number? My kids keep up with themselves. <laughs> Colin said as long as they don't fall in the cup as many as possible. There's nothing worse than a broken biscuit. 
There is two. Um, Brent said, anyone going to the AAW symposium in Louis, Louis, Louisville? No, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, not unless my pin. Yeah, we used to have nice calzone pizzas when we used to go when my sister used to live in Grantham. They used to be really good. But there aren't many places doing. You don't mind if you make your own, do you? No. You make them sometimes, cook them on the uh, barbecue. That's nice. Anything is you only do one at a time. You have to have it in shifts. <laughs> No, that's right. Crystal said, if I don't behave myself, it'll be a hot tongue, cold shoulder for dinner. <laughs> Dr. Bob said, Steve, just do a search for Bim Po online when you read about him. I was one of those who knew him as a kid and that helped him escape from Vietnam at the end of the war. Oh, well done, Bob. I will check it out. Lucy put a whole packet of ginger nuts with a cup of tea. Oh, I have to be in the mood for ginger nuts. Ours is usually custard creams. Paul said that Lockwood said the biggest problem with a cup of tea biscuits is trying to find a way you can buy nice biscuits anymore. Supermarkets only seem to sell them in multi packs with other types. I oh, used to like them, didn't you? The coconutty ones. It was called nice, weren't they? Nice. Right, so let's get this sanded up. So I'm going to sand this up to 400 again, as always. And then we're going to seal. So we just do the inside of that one. So when you're sanding with a, a rotary pad, don't come, if you want to curve, don't come past your edge because you'll just make it really shallow. You're better off just doing that by hand. So we'll go up through our grits. Two more grits to go. You're just strange, Ben. He likes Pringles with his cup of tea. So we just finish that last little bit off by hand. So we're just going to bring this edge in, just round that. Just last one. Terry said, Ruth's just made him a ham and cheese toasty for lunch. Now contemplating ice cream for dessert. Not that expensive ice cream, I hope, Terry. <laughs> so what we've got to do is just go back and sand our rim now. We'll just finish sanding that.
So final one, 400 grit. And we'll just stand this rim as well. So that should be everything sanders with a nice thin two millimeter wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal that now. With sand, sealant. sand and sealer. So we're going to seal the whole thing. It's quite a pretty bit of wood, actually. <laughs> ben said that, um, Terry, it sounds like half a job. It should be ham, cheese, onion and black pepper, Terry. But I have to have what she makes me, Ben. If not, I have to do it myself, so I compromise. <laughs> Well, I was going to do Steve. Uh... Hence the word was, was. Well, if we get, if we, you know, get a move on, we might be able to have a chance to do it. Poached egg and bacon. Um, muffins. We could still have them. So nice first coat, let that dry, we'll de-nib that. McDoos is on. Hi Mick, how you doing? So I'll give that a second coat. <clears throat> Make sure we get it tight in that little, that nice tight transition line there. Alf Keys on. Hi Alf, how you doing? He obviously Smelt the idea of biscuits because he said he likes rich tea. <laughs> Benjamin put poached eggs are too stressful. Oh, I bought a pan, Benjamin. Another oh, one, Ben. Another shush, one. Shush, Another shush, one. Shush, 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 shush. It's not the first shush, poaching shush, machine shush, he's shush, bought. Shush, shush. Shush. Yeah, but I bought one because my daughter's got one and that's brilliant. Oh, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. That'll be used once and put back in the cupboard like the other one was. That won't. Yeah, well, that was a machine. That weren't very good at all. Oh, you crazy for that. it. You crazy for it. Look at this. It's amazing. You just chuck your eggs in and they poach it all and this, that, and the other. I don't think that was poached eggs. Was that? I thought it was boiled eggs. No, poached. But anyway, moving on. I don't mind a gadget. Yeah, I've noticed. Right, so... Just, I'm going to wax the inside of this, and I'm not going to put anything on this at the moment because I'm going to pierce all this. So um, let's put a little bit of wax on the middle just to protect that. He's been out mowing the lawn. He said it's warm out there. Yeah, I was knee cutting again. A little bit of rain, a little bit of sun. Grass grows like a lunatic. Right, so. A little bit of Hampshire sheen wax. Bring it on that edge. Just take it just over that edge onto a tight transition line. Do, 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 
All right, let's just buff this off. May give us two coats, depending on how it comes out. Look at that. Just for a little bit of Hampshire Sheen High Gloss Wax. Brian said, do you have a cheek, Steve, Mr. Gadget Collector? No. Lucy not... said, Brian, I was thinking that too. Not me. What do you mean, gadget? I ain't got no gadgets. Um, yeah, my mum had one, but it had metal dishes in it. This one's got the little cups of plastic. But my daughter done me poached eggs when I went round the other week. Oh, it was lovely. Yeah, it's more about the way it's cooked then. I can do them normally in the pan, but it's just be a bit dubious about doing too many at once. All right, let's buff this off. So second coat of Hampshire Sheen, just to give that a little bit more deeper shine. Let's just quickly put these gouges away and then we can move on to the next stage all right so that's the inside of that finished um now i need to decide what i'm doing with all this around here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get out the i'll put it on the carving jig and we'll break the uh Chuck off. Not like that because I don't want to break the uh, the piece of wood. That's it. This is where you drop it and break it. So put that on there. Put that on there. Oh, got a lot of chat going on. It's hard a little. So I don't know if you'll see that. Might just have to move that back a little bit. Actually, I'll bring that other camera in. That'd be easier. Let me just move this around here. Bring in the cups of plastic, so they're really easy to wash they're up. A lot cleaner. They, I don't know. My mum had metal ones, and they tend to stick. Whereas when you've got the plastic one, Rainwise says working in my wee workshop workshop this morning, finishing eleven bowls on cold jaws. Paul said, always drop a bit of butter in the cup first. What camera Michael McEwen said, I don't comment on my wife's kitchen gadget purchases, and I remind her of that if she comments on my workshop purchases, lol. <laughs> I like your style. That's as hard as it's going to go. McDo said, Steve prints his own gadgets. <laughs> so now you come to mention it, Mick. Yeah, Lucy, they're like black plastic. They're, I think they're brilliant. And you can't say that. You ain't tried it yet. Well, no, it's exactly the same as Clary, so... Let's just zoom this in a little bit, so it's not so close up. There we go, that's better. Right, so... So, let's get the machine out, and we'll do a couple, and then I will carry on if I get a chance during the week. If not, we'll finish it off next, next um, Sunday. So... The machine I have is exactly the same as the one Terry has, um, which, like I said, I've used. I've used. Oh, well, Talking have, of gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> I've, um, not actually, the, only, the only time I've really used this at the moment is um, when I did the review video on it or the unboxing video on it. So uh, I haven't really had a chance to try it out as such. But it's the um, wood art. Well, it's actually called Strong Drill. The uh, G G J G eight hundred. So we're just gonna put this in, and it takes same as a Dremel one eighth pieces. Yeah, we will put a little bit of butter in them. Uh, you get the foot pedal with it if you want the foot pedal. So Terry's it's a little... put it's the 
Simon Hope carving jig. Oh, the one that's sitting in. Yeah, this is the Simon Hope carving jig. What it's sitting in. Um, but this is the the uh, the brushless um, rotary tool, and it takes one eighth pieces, so it's exactly the same as your Dremel. Where the hell the one box of bits gone? Oh here. Um, so you can obviously buy the bits from the original manufacturer, um, or you can buy the CNC bits is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use a 1 16th bit, which is around about 1.2 millimetres. So we're just going to change. <coughs> I know Sandy said Steve, save Zentl costs. Yeah. So I don't want to come really close to the edge on either side. I want to leave a little bit of a wall. So we're just, I'm basically just going to do some random patterns and we'll see what happens. Uh, so as you can hear, it's going now. That's quiet, isn't it? That's how quiet it is. Yeah. It's running at 40, running at 46,000 RPM. And we'll Benjamin see how that... said, is that a 300 pound one, Steve? Yes, it is. Yeah. 12.99. Mick Dew said, the Hope Carbon Jig's a brilliant bit of kit. Use mine loads. Yeah, considering mine was, a, my gadget purchase was only a nine quid, you know. Compared to you've just spent 300 So I don't think you can comment, mate. Mine will get used more than yours. I bet you're anything on it. Uh, I will believe that when I see it. We'll have a bet, shall we? But if I do, you'll give me the nine quid for it. No. Yeah. No. I think it's a bit fast, that's... Oh, God, so the idea on. is just to really... Try and cut around it. It's a bit burning. Oh my god, it's burning. Perhaps I've got it going too fast. Terry, Perhaps what's I... he doing wrong? Sort him out. I think the rim might be a little bit too thick. I should have gone down to Quite a little bit. I'm going to try a smaller piece. Gonna try a smaller bit. I've got a smaller bit here. I've got a half a mil bit here. Let's put one of those in and try it. So this one's a half a millimetre. So let's try that. Problems when you come across the grain, that's where the, the problem comes. But you want to try and make some sort of pattern, you don't want to keep it... When I tried it on plywood, it worked really well. I think it's just a case of a, a slow process, like so. I don't think you can really rush it. I think you've got to take your time and just. Let it cut as quick as it cuts, really. I know it's Andy said, wonder what the difference is between that and the hundred pounds ones. 200 quid. <laughs> Mixed dues, put oops, domestic. <laughs> <laughs> Terry said, slow it down, Steve. You did, didn't you? Yep. Colin said about two hundred pound Andy long. Mm. Overhead camera. Well, you won't see it on the overhead camera. You won't see it on the overhead camera because the camera's set back too far. Alright. I tried to do it. Hang on, let me see if I can move this tripod. Gerard said, so I have to go. Thank you for the entertainment, Steve and Nikki. And well done to Nikki to put up with you. She's brave. See you all soon. Say be safe out there. See you, Gerard. Take care, Gerard. Dr. Bob said when that Ben Poe introduced the pierce and he used wood he did use um dentist drills. Yeah, he's a bloke in one of the clubs I go to, he's uh he uses dentist drills. Um Terry said thirty thousand revs, Steve. On my own. Thirty three. Right, so 
think it's just nice and slow to be honest. Like I say, could have helped myself by making the wall a little bit thinner maybe. But it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It's the first time you've done it. Learn by your mistakes. Well, you're I right still you... haven't. <laughs> it's all right when you come to the soft grain. That's when you hit the hard grain. That's the... Yay, someone got right. So that's the principle anyway. You can't really see it, can you, when I'm doing it? Let's move it around a little bit. So it's hard to show you while I'm doing it. With um... So the idea is to keep as close as you can to the previous ones, obviously without cutting into them, and trying to get random shapes so you're not got continuous. Do, 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 do. And don't William the... Kenny said perfect, Steve. Now just use his left hand. <laughs> <laughs> and don't break the bit like that. That's where you have you trying to rush it and push it too hard. So what I need to do is just ease off and chill out and take it easy. So nice and slow. Relax. Have a Cadbury's caramel. Well, that's the thing. You don't want to. Try, you're trying. To, I'm trying to rush it. You don't need to, because you said it's going to be done over a few days anyway. So that's just a case of letting the bit do the cutting, isn't it? And then I'll uh, I'll sand it afterwards. But this is a real fine piece. This is only a 0.5 of a millimetre, half a millimetre piece. Um, the pieces you can ideally want is a 1.2 millimetres. So I could go up to that, I suppose. But that's the principle. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the whole piece. I'm going to mark areas out and just cut out certain areas. And then do some pyrography in between them to us sort of piercing and pyrography. So I might draw some lines, sort of find a radius line. Maybe not come out no further than there. There, say. And not, yes. go, no, not go no further out than there. And then draw some radius lines in here, piercing that area there, uniform that around to there, and then do some pyrography in another area. But we'll see. I'll have a play in the week and have a look and decide what I want to do. And if I turn that around, you'll be able to see that a bit better. So that's the idea. Um, So I'll have a play. If I get a chance in the week, I'll have a play with that and do a bit more. Um, but I've got a bit of a busy week coming up, so don't know if I'll get time. Um, but if not, we'll come back and do some more next Sunday and see how it goes. So, 13, 14, 18, 21, 19. I don't know if I can hear you, but I can hear you. Uh, sorry. Trying to count. Right, so let's get rid of that light and that light. Let's bring it back on this camera here. Lens are looking good. Thank you. So, like I say, it was I just I've not had a chance to play with this tool yet, so I thought it'd be nice to have a play with it um, and see what I can come up with. Um, but we'll see. Like I say, it's just patience. I think the wall could have been a little bit thinner. I maybe should have done the wall a mil and a half rather than the two and a half mil. 
But other than that, I'm going to call that it. It because my wife, it for? my wife is going to cook me some egg and bacon muffins. Why are you calling it? it? Didn't they give you a wooden name? Right. Um, I was just reading that. What you can get old dental drills from your dentist for free. Make sure you bowl them. Um, one of the guys I go to a club. He he uses a dentist drill that runs at like two and a half hours. No, twenty. 250,000 RPM. You reckon that's absolutely immense. But he does massive pieces like this of piss and balls and all sorts. But anyway. Right. So we're going to go. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming over and having a look. Don't forget, Brian is live tonight covering for Terry because Terry's uh, unable to do a live tonight. So Brian will be doing his live tonight. But there will be no live from Brian tomorrow night because it's the live 360. It's a Wood Turnham 360 club meeting tomorrow night. So there'll be no live from Brian tomorrow night. Look, Brian's just put his um, link in for his uh, live this evening, 7 o'clock or 7.15, whenever it is. But if you click on the link, you'll see exactly when it's due. Um, so other than that, if I don't see you before, I will see you next Friday evening. I uh, hope you have an amazing week. Uh, speak to you soon. Take care. And bye for now. Say bye, Nick. Bye. Take care. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming over. That's all, folks.